First reading, Acts chapter 3 verse 11 to 26. Everyone came running towards them in great excitement, to the portico of Solomon, as it is called, where the man was still clinging to Peter and John. When Peter saw the people he addressed them, Men of Israel, why are you so surprised at this? Why are you staring at us as though we had made this man walk by our own power or holiness? It is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate after he had given his verdict to release him. It was you who accused the holy and upright one, you who demanded that a murderer should be released to you, while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are witnesses, and it is the name of Jesus which, through faith in him, has brought back the strength of this man whom you see here and who is well known to you. It is faith in him that has restored this man to health, as you can all see, now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. But this was the way God carried out what he had foretold, when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, and so that the Lord may send the time of comfort. Then he will send you the Christ he has predestined, that is Jesus, whom heaven must keep till the universal restoration comes which God proclaimed, speaking through his holy prophets. Moses, for example, said, From among your brothers the Lord God will raise up for you a prophet like me. You will listen to whatever he tells you. Anyone who refuses to listen to that prophet shall be cut off from the people. In fact, all the prophets that have ever spoken, from Samuel onwards, have predicted these days, you are the heirs of the prophets, the heirs of the covenant God made with your ancestors when he told Abraham, all the nations of the earth will be blessed in your descendants. It was for you in the first place that God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you as every one of you turns from his wicked ways. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 8 verse 2, 5, 6 to 7, 8 to 9. Even through the mouths of children, or of babes in arms, you make him a fortress, firm against your foes, to subdue the enemy and the rebel. Yet you have made him little less than a god, you have crowned him with glory and beauty, made him lord of the works of your hands, put all things under his feet, sheep and cattle, all of them, and even the wild beasts, birds in the sky, fish in the sea, when he makes his way across the ocean, Yahweh our Lord, how majestic your name throughout the world. Gospel, Luke chapter 24 verse 35 to 48. Then they told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized him at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about all this when he himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated? And why are these doubts stirring in your hearts? See by my hands and my feet that it is I myself. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this he showed them his hands and his feet. Their joy was so great that they still could not believe it, as they were dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the Law of Moses, in the Prophets, and in the Psalms, was destined to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the Scriptures, and he said to them, So it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that, 
in his name, repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses to this.